Now we know that COVID-19 is still at large. A lot of people are contracting uh, the virus and uh, a lot of people have a lot of doubts in their mind. Now, even I, you know, contracted COVID a few uh, days or a few weeks back, I can say, and I, did, I, did, I had a lot of doubt. Is it COVID? Is it uh, cold? And uh, that is something that we are going to be clarifying today right here on indigomusic.com and uh, joining me is Dr. Sudarshan Balal, who is the chairman of Manipal Hospitals. Doctor, absolute pleasure, first of all, having you here with us on indigomusic.com. Uh, good afternoon, Roy. Thank you for having me here. Now, Doctor, uh, like I was mentioning earlier, a lot of people have a lot of doubts. Now, there's a rise in cases. What is your take and is it as serious as the first and the second wave? Uh, fortunately for us, we have learned a lot of things uh, since COVID first came into existence almost two years ago. Uh, we were quite clueless in the first wave because it was a new disease. And uh, we had a lot more data available and also vaccines available before the start of the second wave. However, right. the second wave was quite brutal because of the significant virulence of right. the Delta variant and caused a lot of hardship. Now, of course, we are in the third wave of the COVID with a milder variant uh, called the Omicron. Right. So we certainly are much better prepared and uh, most of our population has been vaccinated or have had previous infections. And the disease itself seems to be milder. So I think we are in a better state than what we were in the second wave to tackle this uh, third wave of COVID. So I certainly would not recommend people become panicky or get scared. They need to be aware of the disease, should not take it very lightly, be frivolous. So the important things to follow is one, COVID appropriate behavior is still your best vaccine. So right. masking, distancing, hand washing, avoiding crowds, is an absolute must and that should not be forgotten at any cost. Second is aggressive vaccination. Right. I think vaccination is the key in making this disease milder and probably go away in the future. So I think if you have not been vaccinated, go take your first dose. If you have had your first dose, make sure you take your second dose. And if you're eligible for your third dose, please go ahead. Do not have any vaccine hesitancy. Vaccine is certainly your savior. And as far as possible, I think it's very, very important that we uh, take the COVID appropriate behavior very, very seriously. And right. lastly, follow the public health rules that have been laid down by the government. Right. Now, uh, so, Doctor, you also mentioned about the third dose. A lot of people are very, uh, you know, they don't know what this booster is, what they're calling. What is this third dose all about? Is it the same vaccine which will be administered again or is it a different vaccine in itself? Okay, the third dose or the precautionary dose as uh, uh, it is called by the government right. or the booster dose is usually given uh, to boost the immunity which starts waning after a few months. Most vaccines for that matter, the immunity after the vaccine wanes off and we have seen this that even with COVID vaccines, the right. antibody levels have started coming down after a few months. So to boost your immunity, the third dose or uh, the precautionary dose or the booster dose is given. And the government has rightfully selected high risk groups, that is uh, health workers and frontline workers as the first ones to get this. They've also included other high risk groups like people above the age of 60 with comorbidity as the other group that requires the booster dose. So these are the people that are eligible. They've also said that the third dose is nine months after the second dose okay and it is the same vaccine that was given during the first two doses okay. so there is absolute clarity it is the booster or the precautionary dose is only for a certain select group of uh, population it has to be given nine months after the second dose and it is the same vaccine that was given for the second dose right now there's also a uh, you know a uh, flu is what they're calling it going on uh, parallel to covid-19 now how can uh, one differentiate and is it true that there is a flu going on as well see now uh, many of the respiratory viral illnesses whether it's common cold flu h1n1 sars or covid have yeah. somewhat similar symptoms and i think it would be uh, not prudent Right. to distinguish what disease you have just based on your symptoms. It could be a common cold, it could be flu. There will be some differentiating features, but that's not enough to hang your coat on. So right. if you have any respiratory illness, be it a cold, cough, sore throat, headache, uh, myalgias, uh, fever, I think it's important that you consult your doctor. They would be the judges of what it is, what tests to be done. 
right and of course uh, the treatment would also to some extent depend on what kind of disease you have so right. certainly this is the winter so there would be flu and other respiratory illnesses that go on but by the symptoms alone it would be impossible to distinguish covid from other diseases right so doctor what you're saying is don't be a doctor yourself actually go and consult one don't self medicate yes i have another very important message sure. now uh, whether it is cold flu or covid if you are sick please please stay home seek medical attention don't go and go to public places or go to work and go take public transport where you infect a whole bunch of other people please be sensitive to the spread of the disease take care of yourself and also make sure you take care of the society absolutely now doctor a lot of uh, kids are being affected with covid-19 uh, of late now there are no a uh, certain what can i say vaccination for uh, kids as of now what needs to be done when it comes to uh, parenting especially for parents uh, what is your suggestion so of course the government has now introduced vaccines for the age of 15 and above yes. uh, the rest of the measures would be taken that, that are to be taken to prevent the disease uh, from spreading is the same whether it's an adult or kid of course in the kids it may be very difficult to mask younger kids and certainly not recommended below the age of 5 yeah. but as far as possible uh, distancing making them wash their hands uh those are the things that we need to watch out for another important factor that i would like to mention is that uh, kids by and large have had very mild disease even during the second wave and certainly uh, we do hope it will be very mild in the third wave too very rare for kids to become very sick however what is important to know is that the kids could be a reservoir of spreading disease to the adults they come in touch with and right. these may be elderly people at home elderly teachers or elderly family members so i think uh, for these reasons even with the kids we have to be cautious that they don't spread the disease or get uh, uh, sick themselves but by and large the disease is mild and the precautions are somewhat same except uh, small kids may find it difficult to wear the mask. mask so parents will have to keep this in mind and it's very very important that the adults who come in touch with the kids should be vaccinated Yes, uh yeah, absolutely. Now there there are reports of endemic, basically the end to this pandemic. Is it true doctor? Is there any hope that maybe this year this particular pandemic will come to an end? Well, I would not want to hazard a guess on that because yeah. many uh, experts in the field have given varied opinions right. and we have also seen that the opinions given in the past have not always been accurate. so i think if the covid uh, doesn't mutate further to a more virulent form and the public follow covid appropriate behavior we certainly at some point would reach a stage of endemicity especially if the vaccination drives goes on public health measures are in place right. and uh, people are careful yes yes absolutely doctor on behalf of nama bengaluru foundation and indigomusic.com i would like to thank you for making time and having this chat and also you know uh, clearing all the doubts that many people also had uh, due, uh, you know regarding the covid-19 pandemic thank you once again doctor thank you rohit it was a pleasure being there it's my pleasure sir thank you